The school was just starting its Chinese program through lessons at Bangor Chinese School and courses at John Bass and a lot of work on its own. Matt has gone on to become the most proficient Chinese student the school has yet produced. He's a fine trombonist, swims, is active in theater, student senate, and other school organizations. Please welcome to the podium the son of Steve and Nancy Norris of Orrington, Maine, winner of the Maine Principals Award and valedictorian of John Babs, Matthew Norris. Some failure in life is inevitable. 
As the author J.K. Rowling put it, it is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all. If you refuse to take chances to reach your own goals and embrace your own happiness, have you actually succeeded? Success is also defined by our relations with other people, not in the amount of friends we can claim on social media or the professional connections we've made, but in the positive effect, however small, we have on those around us. To be honest, this weekend has not been the most altruistic of my life. As a graduate, I've been at the center of many a Facebook post and the recipient of many a handshake and no wish. Although I do appreciate the sincerity of your congratulations, I do have a little bit of a difficult time accepting your high praise. The fact that many people do not have and will never have the same level of support, resources, and opportunity I have perturbs me. Many, perhaps smarter, more talented, and more dedicated, can never dream of achieving what I did. Sometimes it seems we so celebrate the successes of the fortunate that we forget about those who were not born into the same circumstances. I ask you to never take your friends, your family, or your education for granted. For these three pillars are denied to so many. I ask you to take time to support those who do not have the same resources. Take time to ease others' pain or burden. Take time to share a nice word with someone you'd rather not. Take time to be more positive when you'd rather complain. Take time to learn about those who are different from you and appreciate rather than ridicule those differences. Take time to joke and laugh and hug and kiss and cry tears of joy or pain and experience this range of emotion this life has to offer with the many people in it. Take time to live and you will find yourself successful. Lastly, take this education you've been so fortunate to receive and do something with it. Teach, entertain, fix, heal, Personally, I do not know what job I'd like to have or where I'd like to live, but I do know the kind of change I'd like to see in the world and the happiness I'd like to bring to others. And I believe that is my definition of success. John Babs Memorial High School Class of 2015. From this moment, go out into the world, live, laugh, love, and define your own success. Thank you. Thank you.